Hey, this is Corduroy filling in for Dime Guy this week. Got our halves. I'm about this far into our first box. And as you can see, it focuses. You can see there's a silver second from the left. So I'll pull that out. If I can get that out. And it is a 1967. Cool. So, like I said, this far into our first box. There's what I've gone through so far. There's the wrappers. And then there's three more boxes over there to go. Alright, I'm back with another roll. And I was surprised on this one. And I kind of just got lucky. Because this one right here, right in front of my thumb, right there, almost looks like it's not silver. I go and uh, look at it. Put this down. And look what it is. A 1964. Now that threw me off. Because those edges, it was just really dirty, I guess. But at first, it did not look like silver. But uh, I'm glad. Um, double checked. Always pays to double check. So cool. That's our second silver so far. We've got the 64. And the 67, I'm that much through our second box here. And still got two boxes to go. All right, this is Corduroy, back with another silver, or so I think. You can see it right there in the middle. Let me focus in on that. Anyways, this is kind of like part two. Um, the other two cases I did the other day solo on my own. And then... Um, Dime guys here tonight, uh, and we're doing the other two cases that I showed you in the video uh, tonight. But anyways, let's see what this uh, silver is. Let's get a closer look at it. So you can see it right there. There's no copper in that. Let's see what we got here. That is a 69D. And as I was talking or blabbering, Dime guy that looks good. thinks he's pulled the silver here. Was it the fourth one down? Looks like it. 68. So look at that. So this is our second case for the night. So we went through the first case, didn't find anything. And we just went bam, bam on these two. So hopefully, you know, maybe we got another one or two in there left over. So we'll see. All right, so here's another one. Uh, Dime Guy, I think it's gold covered. I think... Uh, it does look gold covered. I th I thought it was tarnished, so we'll see what it is. 83. It's an 83, gold covered 83. Uh, so that's a bummer. Well, anyways, you know, at least, at least it gets us excited or whatever, and then, you know, it bumps us out. But anyways, hopefully we'll be back with some more silver. All right, two rolls after that gold one. And that gold one, just to show you. We just noticed it's got 1960, 1980, like, imprinted on there. Who knows what that means? So it's gold and 1960, 1980. But anyways, two rolls after that, and we've got one, what, five down? Yep. And that's definitely silver. I think it's going to be 40 percenter. Yeah. It's 1969 D. I want you to open up the rest of it, see if there's anything else in there. No, no friends. No friends, okay. All right, so hopefully we'll be back with uh, some more. All right, so about two, three rolls after Dime Guy's last silver. We got one right there, almost midway down. I'm thinking a 40 percenter. That seems to be the theme of the night. And we got a 1967. So uh, we got four so far. Hmm. Hopefully we got, wait, is there anything Nothing else in there? Else. Nothing else in there? Okay, so uh, hopefully we'll get some more. All right, so we know this is probably gold-plated, but you pulled out a gold-plated silver before, Dan. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll see what it is. What is it? Seventy-four. Seventy-four. Well, at least it's a little 1960, bit older. 1960, 85. 1960, 85. So, who knows what these dates are meaning here? Uh, maybe somebody's marking these. So, anyways, hopefully we'll be back with more silver. So that was it. 
And so, like, our fines for these two cases, or these six coins right here, we had uh, four 40 percenters, uh, like two 69Ds, um, a 67, uh, 67 plane, and then 68D. And then, like I said, these two gold cover coins, which the first one threw us for a loop, but we caught on with the second one. So anyways, um, the other two coins were left at Dime Guy's place. That was a 90% 64. And then we also had a 40%, I forgot the day. I want to say it was a 67, maybe. But anyway, so that, not, not too bad. Uh, five 40 percenters and one 90 percenter um, from our four cases. And um, you know what they say. It's all about the volume.